Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, in The Walking Dead Season 8, in the very first episode of Season 8, we pretty much start this storyline with Carl's character, where in Episode 1, he's out in the woods and he finds this man named Sadiq. And Sadiq is just this this lone survivor. He's he's not he's not connected to any of the communities. He's not a savior. He's not he's just alone. He's just by himself. He's dirty. He's just this lone survivor. And Carl wants to he wants to help him. Carl Carl's trying to do the right thing. Carl's trying to be a good person. He wants to help Sadiq. He wants to bring Sadiq to his community. But Rick is there, and he scares Sadiq off. Rick shoots his gun out into the sky and scares Sadiq off. And Carl's mad at Rick. And Rick just doesn't really want to deal with new people right now. And Carl, Carl feels differently than Rick does. Carl has a different opinion than Rick. And later on, Carl continues to look for Sadiq. He goes out in the woods, and he continues to look for Sadiq. Eventually, he finds Sadiq, and they get to know each other. And Sadiq tells Carl about his mother's religion and why he pretty much kills walkers to free their souls. So, so Sadiq specifically kills every walker he can find because his mother believed that killing a walker freed their soul. So, so Carl tries to help Sadiq and they kill some walkers and Carl ends up getting bitten by a walker. So... Once Carl gets bitten by a walker, Carl is just determined to make the very most out of his final moments that he possibly can. He knows that he probably has hours, maybe more, before he dies. So he's determined to, to make the most out of it. And he and Sadiq continue to get to know each other. They continue to develop as friends. And, and Carl takes Sadiq back. And... Later on, Carl shows Rick and everyone else his bite and reveals that he's dying. And basically, he got bitten because he rescued Sadiq. Or, I mean, yeah, he rescued Sadiq, but he got bitten because he was doing something that Sadiq wanted for, for Sadiq's religion. And Sadiq is really sad, and Carl's, you know, Carl's telling Sadiq, you know, you're one of us. You know, I, I brought you here. You're one of us now. And Sadiq is saying, you know, I'm going to live for you. I'm going to honor you, Carl. You know, everything I'm going to do is going to be in your memory. I'm going to live for you. And Carl dies pretty much in the middle of season eight. So Sadiq continues on and Sadiq has some big moments in season eight and season nine. He's a part of Rick's decision to spare Negan because in the final episode of season eight, Sadiq is telling Rick about how Carl died and and how it was dangerous but he believed this and that and that kind of influenced Rick's decision to spare Negan and lock Negan up so during season eight and seasons well seasons eight nine and ten Sadiq does continue to try to honor Carl he does try to honor Carl's memory and Carl's legacy he, he does a lot of things for Carl um, in season nine he's kind of the voice of reason in season nine um, after the time jump during season nine, Michonne and her people at Alexandria, they just sort of want to stay separate and, and separate and independent from the other communities. Michonne doesn't want to help the kingdom. Michonne doesn't want to help the hilltop. And Sadiq is saying, no, we need to come together. We need to help each other. We need to be together and help each other. He's kind of basically the voice of reason. And then in season later on in season nine, the heads on spikes happened, and Sadiq is the only one that got captured by Alpha that survived. He was the lone survivor of the heads on spikes, and he gives this big dramatic speech about how the people that died that they went out fighting, they were together like a family, and we need to honor them by being a family. And Sadiq, Sadiq continues to do the right thing, and he's always trying to do the right thing. But in season ten. There is this storyline where a bunch of characters get sick, and Sadiq is, you know, he's the doctor. He's he's one of the doctors, and Sadiq is trying to help them, and he's dealing with PTSD because he's had PTSD since the heads on spikes because he was forced to watch those people die. He was forced to watch his friends die, and eventually he realizes that his assistant, Dante, was one of the whisperers, and Dante ends up killing Sadiq. Dante strangles Sadiq to death. So Sadiq is dead. Sadiq lasted pretty much two and a half seasons of The Walking Dead. 
He really wasn't one of my favorites. I thought he was okay. But there has been a lot, <laughs> a lot of controversy since Sadiq's death. A lot of people are saying that because basically Carl, since Carl died for Sadiq, Carl died doing something for Sadiq. And a big part of Carl's death was his his legacy and Sadiq wanting to honor Carl's memory. That now that Sadiq's dead, Carl's death means nothing and Carl died for nothing. And I get where people are coming from, but honestly, I don't agree. I mean, Sadiq, he lasted two and a half seasons. He made it all the way to season 10, episode 7. And a whole lot of Sadiq's character, pretty much almost all of Sadiq's character and Sadiq's actions in, in his time on the show was him honoring Carl. He was honoring Carl. Like I said, in season 9, he was the voice of reason. He was doing what Carl would have wanted him to do. Everything that Sadiq did in seasons 8, 9, and 10 were pretty much for Carl. He was honoring Carl's memory. He did do what he said he was going to do. He did do what he set out to do, which was honor Carl. And, you know, he was the, pretty much one of the very few people that kept telling Michonne, no, no, you can't just be an independent community of people. You can't just ignore the other communities. We need to come together. We need to help them. We need to help them. We need to help them. And then after the heads on spikes, he gives this big speech about how we need to be a family. They died like a family. We need to be a family. He's always trying to do the right thing. Even in season 10, when Ezekiel is showing Sadiq his cancer, Sadiq is trying to help Ezekiel. Sadiq is trying to comfort Ezekiel. He knows he can't, you know, he doesn't have the, the medical equipment, probably, or equipment or expertise to take the tumor out, but he's still trying to help Ezekiel and be there for Ezekiel. Pretty much all of Sadiq's character was all about him trying to do the right thing, always trying to do the moral high ground, even if it was hard. So to say that Sadiq, that Carl died for nothing just because Sadiq died is a little shallow. I mean, you can't just be like, oh, this character died. Oh, well, that's all that matters. You have to focus on the actions of the character before they died. And I believe that if you focus on the actions of Sadiq, you know, the things Sadiq says and the things he does before he dies, then you end up with a character that did, you know, he did a lot to honor Carl's memory. He did do the best he could. And, I mean, it's not like he died in Season 9, Episode 1. I mean, he lived a fairly decent time. He had a decent amount of time on the show. And so I do think that he lived long enough for him to have pretty much succeeded at honoring Carl's memory. I mean, this is The Walking Dead. <laughs> Characters are going to die, you know. I mean, yes, S Sadiq was doing his best to honor Carl. And yes, he died in the middle of season 10. But I don't think that means that Carl died for nothing. I don't think that means that, that Carl's legacy has now gone away. Carl's legacy lives on in many, many ways. You know, Carl's legacy was the reason why Rick locked Negan up. was why Rick built that world. Do you remember in season 8 where, where Carl had this dream of, of this this peaceful world where everyone, even the saviors, lived peacefully together and Rick was like, I'll make it real. I'll make it real. You know, in season nine, we saw Rick making, doing his best to make that dream that Carl had real. And yeah, there was some problems with the saviors and, and there was definitely a lot of saviors that pretty much didn't work out, but there were saviors that did work out. Alden, you know, Laura, they did do their best to come together and yeah, I mean, once Rick got captured and you know by the helicopter and everything, that kind of messed up some of Carl's dream. I won't lie about that, but I think overall, Carl's legacy does still continue to live on. It lives on in Michonne. It, it probably lives on in Rick, wherever he is. Rick completely changed after Carl died. You know, Rick was a ruthless killer, and after Carl died, Rick went back to being a lot of the ways he was back in season one because of you know the letter that Carl wrote to Rick about how you know do you remember the way you were when I was a kid and and at the end of season eight Rick's like yes I remember you know I'm going to try to be that person and there's Judith Carl's legacy lives on in Judith and you know there's Michonne I don't know if I said Michonne already but there's still many ways where Carl's legacy lives on so just because Sadiq died in season 10 doesn't automatically mean that Carl died for nothing 
if if you if you care so much about Sadiq honoring Carl's memory, you have to focus on the things Sadiq did before he died, not just whether or not he dies. You have to focus on Sadiq's actions and the things Sadiq did, the things that he did before he died. And I think that if you focus on that, he did do a lot to honor Carl's legacy. But, you know, that's just my opinion. You guys can think whatever you want, but yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 661 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 700 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 700. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye.